Hello, we're here to talk about the Builder Grade Concrete plugin and how this plugin is put together. That is the purpose of this video. You can see that we're in the takeoff mode here. Here is a little job we've been working with and setting up. This is the plugin itself. But for this video, we're going to work in the templates menu here. This is where the plugin is constructed and where you can come in and modify the plugin for your specific use and changes that you would like to have. These are all the top levels. If I open up footings, these are the various footing assemblies that are in the system. And for today, we're just going to work with this continuous footings form both sides assembly, and I will open that up. Now there's a relationship here between the top level and these lines down here. And actually, they use the term, we use the term parent-child. This is the parent. These are all the childs that are related to the parent. And you can see that they're all indented in underneath. At the parent level, we have, as you've seen in the form, the dimensions, the width, the depth, the keyway, the waist. There's no length here because we're taken off the, the linear when we do our takeoff. Here's the concrete PSI. And then we have the breakdown structure, and you, and you have seen that. If I click in Advanced, this is how this property is put together. So here are the variables. Here's the name. You can see that we have predefined values. Now you can change these predefined values here under the Templates tab. So let's see what happens. If I change this footing width to 3.5, and then the footing depth to 2, and I click OK. Then I go over to the home page, and I would like to take off the footings and take off the one that I just modified. Notice that it comes over with those new values. So the important point here is over on the Templates tab is where you set up the default values that you see. And it's not just for this one assembly is for every one of them. So let's talk a little bit more about how they're made. At the top level, we have the overall description of what the assembly is, and then the values here are, are input. At the child properties, which are underneath the, the top level here, each of these values that have been put in, and I'm going to look at advanced, is inherited by the child. See this bracket dot dot bracket? That means inherit the value from the, one, from the line above or from the parent. And if you look over here, you can see that these values are inherited. 3,000 PSI, 3.5, 2. 5 is the concrete waste percent. If I come down below to the work breakdown structures, you can see that the same bracket dot dot bracket is here. There's no values input, so we don't see anything. And here is the division, subdivision, and the phase. Now, at this level, and I'm going to go out one more time and over to the estimate because we've already taken this off. At this level, if I go into the uh, form at this uh, right here, and uh, you right click, go to properties, and then you can hit form, you have the ability here at each of the children properties to modify and change the division, subdivision, and phase. I don't do that at the top level because these values, they're not, they're, you can see that this division, subdivision, and phase is not here because these are going to vary all over the place. See how the, see how the phase is different for each of these, and in some cases the subdivision is different. So this wants to be contained at each of the child properties here. Okay, back to the templates. So we've looked in here, and we have seen how uh, in the advanced that the variables are inherited with, with their values. And same thing for the breakdown structures of the division, subdivision, phase, and then the WBS codes. Now, there's math calculations going on. If I go to the Show tab up here and say, I would like to see all, a new group pops in. And this group is the calculations of how we're arriving at the math here. So here is the neat concrete. The linear total, that's from right down here. 
and you can see that's inherited again from the top level and this is your takeoff that's provided by PlanSwift times the footing width which is in feet times the footing depth also in foot divide by 27 so that's our neat calculation but we need to add waste to that so here is the line that calculates the waste factor 1.05 if you change the waste to three or four or two or seven or whatever then this factor will change and then the waste calculation itself is the footing times the add percent and then this value here is brought down into the quantity where it's arrived at now also at the form here for uh, at each of these child properties you have the cost that you can input and change the quantity will be calculated by the system but here's where you come in and change the cost now there's labor and material calculation so this was the material this is the labor it works just a little bit different so if I come into the labor issue and look at the variables you can see that there's one variable that does not inherit cubic yards per man hour for placement so this is a value that you can change at each line item so as you go through the plugin for all of the labor activities there will be a line here where you can input what the productivity is for this activity in this case we've said there's three cubic yards per man hour for placement and again if you change this it will make the change permanent and leave it in here and it will set up the default that goes over into the takeoff now once again if I go back to the existing takeoff under estimating and I look here under placement and I see the properties and I would like to go to the form here's where you can modify that on a job by job basis notice there's 7.07 .07 man hours right now when I click OK that value has changed so this is the way that all of these assemblies are calculated you have the parent and then the child properties the values the takeoff values and the inputs on specifications and quantities are all inherited and then the math is done at each of these child properties for each of the assemblies if you have any other questions about how this is put together or questions on specific properties then uh, send us an email and I'll be happy to answer your questions or concerns thank you very much it's been about eight minutes and I thank you for your time